to be crystal clear about this, we're not talking about the vents are all smashed up and there's dings all in the gutters and screens are scratched up and there's holes in the siding and we're standing up on a roof and we're like, those are pretty much usually home runs, right? Those are those are pretty easy to do and those are the fast ones, right? And normally, and, and this is a little secret, any hail adjuster knows this. In the areas where the damage is the worst, you, I personally, in my experience, and I think this is probably pretty universal, you see the, the fewest you're meeting with the fewest contractors because they're like, well, this is a, there's no way the adjuster's going to miss this, right? Um, and then it's when you get down to the fringe areas, right, where there may be one or two or possibly three, depending on the size of the town and the extent of the damage, there may be like a, just a, a very small number of contract restoration contractors that kind of have that neighbor, those neighborhoods locked in. And you meet with them a couple of times. And you're like, oh man, this is an easy one, no problem. Here's the money, here's the money, here's the money on a couple of those. And they're gonna stop meeting with you because they're like, oh, well, Matt's on this one, you know. He's, this yeah. looked like just like the last three he just totaled for us. Uh, we don't need, we trust him, you know, he's, he's gonna be fine, right? It's the guys, it's the, the, the latecomers, the people who weren't quite hustling in the right neighborhoods, or, you know, they're trying to drum up more work outside of like the core of where the hail fell. And so they're in these like fringe neighborhoods where there's like dead pea sized hail, right? And maybe, maybe like one, maybe quarter size or ping pong size, you know, hail fell on the whole house, right? All the rest of it was just little small stuff. And you can tell by the spatter and the little teeny, if there's dents at all, the little teeny tiny dents in the fascia and things like that, you're not going to see any like physical damage aside from like maybe some like little dents. But if you, all you're seeing is spattering, it's a hard sell, right? If you know, if, if you're a contractor and you're watching this, and you're up on a roof and you see like black spots, you know, maybe it's under a tree and there's some bunch of black spots, and you're like, oh, that's got to be hail, right? Look at all these black spots on this roof, and there's nothing else. There's nothing else. There's no dents in those light gauge aluminum, you know, turtle vents. If you could take your finger, and this is what I always, yeah, I would. This is this was my test for him. I'm like, listen, I don't see any dents on any of these vents or anything. And I'll take my finger and I'll say, if my finger, I can, I can smash this, this vent all the way into the roof with my, just my finger. There's no way I could punch this as hard as I, as I, as I could, and I wouldn't damage these shingles. So how, how can that, how can that possibly be that the shingles are damaged and the vents aren't, right? That's my main, that's my, n my number one argument. And I usually stop there, right? It's, oh, it's in those neighborhoods where they want to fight with you. Yeah. And they want to fight with you in those neighborhoods because they, they want to, creak the door open just a toe hold and so that they can kick it open right the, the, it's like you said right this is what you do in the, in, when you, in a situation where like okay there's there's zip i don't even see any spattering there's no collateral damage i'd love to buy it i want to buy every single roof i get on right but i can't in this this case because the, it doesn't look like the hail actually hit this any other part of this house except for i'm looking at this roof and it's a old shingle or there's a high traffic area where the guy's focusing all his circles and stuff. And I do what you do. I don't even make, I'll make, I'll take my chalk and I'll put a dot next to everything that the guy says he's, he's saying is hail damage and I'll take a picture of it. I'm not counting those up, right? I'll put F equals zero is what I'll do because I'm not finding anything. And then I'll, I'll put those photos in the file, like, like, just like you said, and I'll say contractor stated this was hail, not consistent with, you know, Exactly. With hail, there's right. no collateral damage found. Right? Contract no claims this was no soft time. spot, no yep. bruise, right? And put that in the file. And the carrier can do whatever they want to with it. 90, I would say 99.999% of the time, they don't, they just make, well, well, we just, Matt, Matt's pictures look like what we would do. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Exactware Training, the creators of Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile. Xactimate is the most advanced and widely used estimating platform in the insurance and restoration industries. Get certified right now as an Xactimate expert at the link in the description below. In the meantime, check out this video right here on Adjuster TV. Or is it here? I think it's here. Pretty sure it's here. Could be here. It's one of those places.